on the hemp and when it breaks. Vaccine mandates and offshore drilling impacts. I'm Johnny Diagostini in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Los Angeles now has one of the most wide-ranging oh, okay. vaccine mandates in the country. The L.A. City Council approved mm -hmm. the measure vaccination to enter many public indoor spaces. It will be enacted early next month after receiving Mayor Eric Garcetti's signature. In the wake of this week's disaster in Southern California, there are new calls to end offshore extraction. Damon Nagami with the Natural Resources Defense Council says we can begin the transition away from fossil fuels. Los Angeles County is leading by example by voting last month to start phasing out onshore oil drilling. That's the kind of bold action we need. Ocean Conservancy Chief Scientist George Leonard says oil on beaches is not the only way fossil fuels impact our oceans. The ocean heating, the ocean acidification, the plastic pollution, all of the major threats to the ocean can be tied back the continued extraction. Jack Lawmakers, environmental activists, students, and indigenous groups took part in a virtual discussion on the topic, joining the call for an end to drilling off the coast of California. Authorities are investigating Jack after flyers carrying text messages were found in a Northern California neighborhood. Raj Rai with San Juan Unified in Sacramento says a staff member spotted the bags before school started Tuesday. And to our knowledge, no student saw the bags or the contents. As a school community, as a school district, we stand for respecting the celebrity and races, ethnicities. Plastic bags filled with rice containing leaflets covered in swastikas and white supremacist messages were found on several Carmichael residents' doorsteps and even an elementary school playground. Investigations now are ongoing. South end weather from KFI, rain today, high 60s at the beaches, high 60s in Metro LA, mid 60s in the valley, and low 70s in the Inland Empire. It's 66 degrees in Anaheim, 62 in Simi Valley, 63 degrees in Van Nuys. We live local from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Johnny Diagostini. In South Pasadena, this is on the 110 northbound at Orange Grove. We have a crash in the middle lanes there. CHP's on the way. Watch for the lakes as you approach this area. Long Beach, this is on the 710 southbound at PCH. Clean up crews from an earlier crash are blocking the off-ramp right there. Your drive is bunching up as you approach. Ontario, we have good news. Earlier crash that was on the 60 eastbound at Euclid Avenue. That's been cleared from lanes. Your drive's recovering in that area. KFI and the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Brian Vance. Contact your license 147781. Kids, it's Ken. What's the deal with the flashlight? What do you mean? Like on our billboards and on our trucks and stuff. That kid with the flashlight is me, Zach. Explain that to me. My dad was a big time expert. So back when I was in grade school, he would always take me with him on repair calls at night. Maybe you hold the flashlight, didn't he? Yeah, and he would always explain to me how he diagnosed the problem. That's a good dad, that's what that is. And then he would show me the right way to fix it, not the easy way. So that flashlight is a symbol, huh? That flashlight says an expert will always see the problem that the other guys can't see. That's why you make sure all our guys are experts. Yeah, and when you repair things the right way, not the easy way, your life's that beam of light. Always doing the right thing for the customer. That's what the flashlight means, Zach. Thanks for telling me, Ken. Get them. G-O-E, T-P-L. We know our business, and we know it well. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. You know, with energy costs rising and temps getting warmer and electric vehicles here to stay, I can't believe how many homes still don't have solar. Now, granted, there's a lot of misinformation out there, so my solar company, Sunlux, asked me to clear some of it up. First, solar doesn't cost you money. It saves you money. A lot of money. Second, it doesn't matter where your panels are made. What matters is who makes them. And finally, you hear about some system out there for $29.95, but that is not what is going to end up on your home. You know, it means something to me that all the partners at Sunlux left top-tier positions at other solar companies. Why? To do solar better. It's why Sunlux is an LG and Tesla platinum contractor. The best systems, the best battery solutions, the best service, the best warranty, and a solar company who is straight with you from day one. Hey, it's time for solar. Get started today at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com, sunlux.com, CSLB 1008374. Amco presents Bet You Didn't Know. Bet you didn't know that your car's transmission is made up of 800 pieces. Also, bet you didn't know that Amco fixed over 40 million transmissions and that Amco offers a nationwide warranty. 
Are you still driving around with that check engine light on? Amco will read and report the trouble codes on your vehicle for free. Call them today. Looking to sell your valuable coins, high-end jewelry, collectibles, or fine art? Dave has a word of caution. Don't be fooled by the famous Steve Palm brokers. They don't pay anything. Why listen to Dave? I'm a coin dealer in San Diego. Oh, so where does Dave go? Tangible investment. I drive 130 miles round trip to Tangible. Yeah, I go see Phil. You know, I, I do it twice a week. That's a lot of miles, and for good reason. Coins, jewelry, diamonds, art, watches. Anything I've ever sold them, they pay me top dollar. They're super knowledgeable. I've been dealing with Tangible 20 years. Phil is a genius. There's an easy way to prove Dave right. Get two or three other bids, and then go to Tangible. They definitely pay you the most. Tangible Investments owner Phil DiGenova has become America's top dealer in coins, precious metals, jewelry, and fine art. And still guarantees you'll get more. Take Dave's advice. If they want to go where the dealers go, go to Tangible. Call now for a no-obligation free professional appraisal. 800-711-2800. 800-711-2800. 800-711-2800. KFI AM 640. So Gina will get some information from you, but uh, she asked for one specific question, just one. So get ready for that. Well, Halloween right around the corner in Ghost to Ghost is Friday, October 29th. Send us your best ghost stories. Uh, you might get picked to tell your story on the air. Simply send your ghost story to ghoststories at coasttocoastam.com. There's a link at coasttocoastam.com, by the way, in the highlight reel. But if you remember this, ghoststories at coasttocoastam.com. Include your phone number, if you would, so Tom can get back to you. ParanormalDate.com, cruising along, 817 people shy now of 118,000 signed up members. Free to sign up, give it a try, ParanormalDate.com, ParanormalDate.com. And if you're over 60, go to ParanormalDate.com slash seniors. At ParanormalDate.com, you meet the most fantastic people. Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Jennifer. What brings you here? Yeah, I'm here to meet someone you understand. Me? How so? Well, I'm into UFOs, ghosts, aliens, Bigfoot, conspiracy theories, uh, the paranormal, uh, that kind of stuff. But you can meet ah, anyone ah. Oh, well, um, nice to meet you, Tom. I, I gotta go. Uh, 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 okay, guess that's not your cup of tea. Are you sure? Very. Good luck. With that. I can't meet anyone when I'm out, and I really can't find a website for my unique interest. What is one to do? Have you thought about ParanormalDate.com? Paro what dot what? Who are you? I'm a paranormal matchmaker, and it's ParanormalDate.com. It's a website for people looking for people like them. Stuff you like, remember? Interesting. Uh, I'll give it a try. Well, let's try this again. Uh, hi, I'm Tom. Hey, I'm Deb. Your profile on ParanormalDate.com looks very interesting. So you really saw a UFO? Well, yeah. It was so intense, but not as intense as many of you. An alien chasing flirt, but I kind of like it. Wow, this ParanormalDate.com thing really works. Maybe ParanormalDate.com is for you. People with an interest in things they hear on George's show find their match daily. So if you're looking for that special someone with an interest in UFOs, ghosts, aliens, Bigfoot, conspiracy theories, and, of course, the paranormal, come to the dating site inspired by George Norrie. It's always free to search, and if you decide to upgrade to our amazing new features, use promo code GEORGE for a great discount. ParanormalDate.com. You are not alone. We've got a great healing story. Carnivora in now. One of those botanicals that is so absolutely so amazing. David, you're a guy that has overcome severe issue. Uh, the, the, light, the light bulb went on and I started to research and found out to save Ronald Reagan's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing that is bringing me back and it's been almost eight years now. How did you yeah. take it? Did you take the liquid? Did you take the capsules? I was going through the capsules like uh, I couldn't get enough. It made me feel so much better. How soon after you began taking the capsule, you kind of felt this was going to be a good thing? Six months, eight months. I can only tell you one thing. The product works. And it not only works in one way, it works in a whole bunch of different ways because it gives me energy, mm -hmm. it gives me vitality, it's giving me my health. So did you have tests to validate it? And if so, did you then oh, have yeah. tests afterwards for the doctors to no. give you a clean bill? I am pretty. 
such a better way. Mm -hmm. Kind of where I have built everything back into my body. It's taken a while, but you know what? It's back sure. there and I feel it. I can't say I'm not. George here. You heard it here first, folks. Many more to come. Call 1-866-836-8735. That's 1-866-836-8735, or visit Carnivora.com. That's C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A.com. Call now. Is your current home loan the right fit for you? Your historic low rates may be a great reason to refinance, but when matched with an expertly chosen loan from Loan Depot, you could be saving money and paying more towards the bottom line. Call a Loan Depot loan officer and ask about our 27-year smart term loan or our 10-year arm loan. Get a great rate matched with a great loan by calling 866-888-LOAN or visit LoanDepot.com. At Loan Depot, home means everything. Rates are subject to change. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 174457. Licensed in all 50 states. And welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Norrie with Elizabeth Joyce. Elizabeth, tell us how you realized you had these gifts. Oh, well, since I was born. Um, in fact, I've, I've worked with my life body my whole life. But I did want to say something about the UFOs, if I may. Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Okay. We've got a whole segment on that with you coming up. I wanted to say that the reason that we're going to know about it is because we're going to start seeing these beings. As we develop ourselves and go higher in our vibrations, we'll start to see people from other planets. That would be intriguing. Yeah, we'll get into that in a second. But, I mean, this gift for you, you had it, I, I assume, since you were a little kid? Yes. How did I wrote, you... I wrote a book called Unlimited Realities that explains how that happened and explains a lot of stories. There's a lot of stories, out-of-body experiences and everything. But um, my grandmother found out that I had the gift when I was about three years old. Three years old? Wow. Because she um, was sitting on the couch, and I went up and put my hands around her ankle, and I said, I don't want you to break your leg, Granny. And she didn't know what I was talking about. So three days later, she fell down the stairs, and she sprained her ankle back, but she didn't break her leg. And later on, she told me that when I had touched her, she had felt an energy go through her leg, and she knew that I was trying to protect her. My grandmother was a shaman. And she was a healer. She was really a beautiful person. Very well loved up here. So you probably got that gift from her? I'm sure I did. Did your mother have it too? She had a little bit of it. Mine's pretty strong. And you're also a natural healer now, aren't you? I do healing, yes. Does it have to be hands-on, or can you do no, it from a No, I can do distant healing. In fact, nowadays I do more distant healing than hands-on because of the COVID. Yes. And I have found out that the, the more you do it distantly, the stronger it can become. But you know what's happening? We're also learning about neatness. We're learning about being clean. We're learning that we have to take care of our health. And we have to work on ourselves from within. We're learning about connecting with our families. And we're finding out what's important. And I think that's been a good thing. Some, well, some people can handle that well. Other people can't. Some people are going crazy. I know. And that's because they aren't going within. You really have to go within and quiet yourself down yeah. and allow the Spirit to tell you, give you things to do. They'll give you assignments. They'll tell you what to do. They'll keep you busy. And then you can find new energies that can bring you into a, a new vocation. Or a new life experience. All right, now take... Most of us go to work and say, I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job. And then they get fired and they wonder why. Because they hate their job. Correct. Now let's talk about these UFO cases. What's going to happen? Um, the UFOs are going to become more prominent um, because people are going to start to communicate with them. They're going to start to see them. They're not going to be able to keep it back anymore. And we're going to be given technology from them, which we have been all along. In fact, they're, they're working in San Diego on 
transporting with the body without anything else. So they can go from San Diego, they've been practicing going from San Diego to Brazil, disintegrating and then coming back together again. A teleportation. Uh, teleportation is what they're doing. Gotcha. Here we go. Yep. Interesting. So uh, it's really good when they're doing all of this intense disease searching because I do think that a lot of diseases, perhaps like, you know, can some cancers and especially um, pancreatic cancer, they can find a cure. While they're searching this, they're going to find others. Now, when we take calls next hour, Elizabeth, you need birth, if they want a reading, some people may just have a question for you about this. Okay. What you do, but if, if they want an answer to a question, they need their birth date, first name, and the state they're calling from. Okay, I'll give you all that. Uh, okay. And what would you prefer first, the birth date, so you can get a head start on that? I just need to hear it. Okay. Uh, Sorry. This, this we're we're going we're gonna to work you next hour, you know that. That's good, I love it. Elizabeth Joyce with us, her website. She's got a couple websites. We've got them all linked up at coasttocoastam.com. You have a separate phone number for people who want to make appointments with you, don't I you? I do. It's 201-934-8986. I'll give that on, It's on the webpage for me. Okay. And they can call that. It's 24 hours. It's an answering service. And we'll call you back. Okay, and the books are still available, Unlimited Realities and Psychic Attack. I have 10 books, but I'm writing my 11th. What's the 11th thought? It's called Mysteries Revealed, Beyond Mortal Boundaries. You have fun I'm doing this. You enjoy I, this, don't you? I love it. I'm going to explain exactly what we're in the process of, expansion, connecting with higher energies, thought transference, healing from within, and checking out the truth by going inward, which I think is very important. Are we... Uh, we have so much fake news. Are, are, are we as a society going to start feeling better about ourselves? Yes, that is going to come. I know I said not right away. Fear is a concern, and fear is causing us and inspiring us to search deeper. We need to bring up our courage and our ambition. Just don't believe everything you hear, because it isn't true. They have an agenda, and unfortunately, the, the agenda is not nice. Are you specifically spiritual? I hope so. <laughs> I think you are. I hope so. I've been accused of that. <laughs> what, what do you think intelligent design is, Elizabeth? Intelligent design? would be, it's not going to be what science thinks it is, would be to understand that you can answer any question at any time. Is there a creator? Yes, there's a creator. You believe that? I do. Always I have? that for sure, a fact. How do you know this? Because I was taken out of my body for three days. Also about uh, that. I was shown a lot of things. Again, that's in the book Unlimited Realities. When I was in Hawaii, it was an incredible experience. Were you taken to heaven? I was taken through three universes. I was taken through seven rings of light, and I was shown where our great masters dwell. And I was shown all the vibrations, all of, all of the houses that are in my house of our many mansions. Well, the mansions are your vibration levels. And you go back to your source from where you came, from where you were born, unless you could raise your vibration. That's the point of being in the body, is to raise your vibration to higher levels. And then you will go to a new level with new teachers. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful process. Now, when you say you left your body for three days, what happened to your physical body for three days? Well, I was safe. I was in a place with 30 people, and they put blankets uh, over me and protected me. Mm -hmm. They knew that I was having an internal experience. Were you like in a coma? If that's what you call it. I was in a deep sleep. I don't know if it was coma, but it was a deep sleep. What induced that? Meditation. You did it Nothing. on purpose? It was natural. Oh, okay. So you didn't get fall on your head or anything like that? No, I did that later. <laughs> no, I didn't. 
it was a very natural thing. It was it was unplanned, unexpected. But I've done many things like that in my lifetime. When I was in Hawaii, my sister went over a cliff with her car in New Hampshire, and I caught it. You caught it? I caught it energetically and pushed it back up. And everything in the car was crushed except for where she sat, and she walked away without a scratch. You saved her life. I guess I did. She was my identical twin, so that might be why. She's still with you? No, she passed mm -hmm. in 2013. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. But that, uh, you know, whatever you did was miraculous, wasn't it? Yes, that's one story. <laughs> There's a lot of them, George, that happen, and they happen spontaneously. You can't make it happen, and you can't get mad when it doesn't happen. What makes it happen? Do we make it happen? or do We make it happen through the ability to release our fears. Our subconscious can be our trouble zone, and that's why we have to do present life and past life regression and work on what thoughts you are holding. For example, for 18 months, we've been tied down, and everybody's got anger and upset and short-temperedness, and you, as you said, they're going crazy. You said they're suicides. All of that can yeah. stop in Anxiety one Anxiety levels are high. Everything's crazy. Right. If they'd only grasp onto their inner power, but they don't know it's there because we've been taught to right. obey right. other people. We've been taught to uh, obey your parents, obey your teachers, the clergy, many forces, but now we have to be taught self-reliance, and we have to learn about accessing the information we need through the mind and meditation. Do you tap into the chakras of people? I not only tap into the chakras of people, I have been blessed to receive the new spiritual chakras. There's seven more that are above you. As a matter of fact, we put the diagram up on the Coast website. That's what that is. I have the diagram up and I have the chart that I made that explains all of them, shows the colors, and tells you what each chakra brings you when it opens. And I'm going to start teaching the classes on Zoom. Explain what a chakra is. It's an energetic organ of the body. And it keeps us going. It's what attaches us to our soul and our, our life body or our universal body. And it's how we do out-of-body experiences. It's how we heal. Each chakra rules an organ of the body. They spin. We have the root chakra. That's your that's your battery. We have the second chakra, which is your receiving chakra. The third chakra is your will, your power. Your fourth chakra is the heart center. The fifth is the throat. And then you have the third eye, and then you have the crown. Now we have more, and the third eye is going to become the PowerPoint instead of the palms of our hands to transmit light to others. So we are developing. Why are eclipses so important? Eclipses bring change. Uh, eclipses uh, bring a time change. I, all my predictions, I'm really helped with astrology, George. I want to stretch how wonderful astrology is. And that, that's why I can say it'll ease up in July because of astrology, for example. But eclipses bring change. A solar eclipse brings new beginnings. A lunar eclipse brings endings. We have two of them coming up. March 19th will be a lunar eclipse and December 3rd or 4th is the solar eclipse in Sagittarius. So then that's when we're going to be having some real problems. But we already know we are because Congress is going to come back in December, right? Yeah, it's still not really done. monstrous 2,000-page law through. And if they do, we will lose our Constitution and we will lose our country. They're delaying the inevitable, aren't they? Well, if it's inevitable, then I feel very sad. I don't know why people can't stand up to it. Why is, Why did a handful of people, like 40 to 60 people, be able to come in and bring us socialism and Marxism? Because people voted for them. 
Yeah, but that doesn't mean that, that they should be able to do it without somebody saying you're out of line. And then if you don't like it, don't vote for them the next time. Or. Oh, that's true. But maybe it's, it's going to be too late. I hope not. But you know what's happening with the moon? The moon has been off course. The moon is supposed to rise in the east and follow the sun. Do you know the moon is moving away at the rate of a min inch and a half every year? I do. And when the moon moves farther away from the Earth, then it affects the Earth's rotation. In a billion years, it'll look like a little tiny dot. <laughs> <laughs> will it disappear? Will we miss it? Well, it activates the magnetic polar flip. It, uh, we need the moon. It's going to weaken the magnetic field. It will fry the electric grid. You know, everybody's worried about the electronic grid. Yep. Well, the electronic grid can get fried by the moon if the moon goes off balance. And then we'll have fires within the wires, and it'll take years. I'm also, I'm more concerned about the sun spitting something out at us, aren't you? The sun, the sun does spiral um, flares. And we don't really know what those flares do, but we do know that it affects our weather. I believe the sun is oh, the big time. reason that affects the weather. That's why we have so warning. We're going to be having some storms coming that are going to be pretty severe in the next few weeks. Oh, really? Yes. Solar storms? Well, solar storms bring hurricanes, earthquakes, mudslides, volcanic eruptions. You predict a big, uh, well, volcanoes, too, and, they, and they're starting. Yeah, they are. But something unexpected is coming, and it's coming. I think it's going to be pretty great. I have to think it's going to be pretty great. And it could be a total cure for COVID. It could be um, something wonderful. It's going to be worldwide. Well, we need some good news right now. We need some good news, Elizabeth. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We're going to come back and take phone calls. We'll get you all the info you need. Uh, keep your calls to about a minute or two. And make sure to ask her a specific question. Find out more about tonight's guest. Log on to coasttocoastam.com. <laughs> costs rising and temps getting warmer and electric vehicles here to stay. I can't believe how many homes still don't have solar. Now granted, there's a lot of misinformation out there, so my solar company, Sunlux, asked me to clear some of it up. First, solar doesn't cost you money. It saves you money. A lot of money. Second, it doesn't matter where your panels are made. What matters is who makes them. And finally, you hear about some system out there for $29.95, but that is not what is going to end up on your home. You know, it means something to me that all the partners at Sunlux left top-tier positions at other solar companies. Why to do solar better? It's why Sunlux is an LG and Tesla platinum contractor. The best systems, the best battery solutions, the best service, the best warranty, and a solar company who is straight with you from day one. Hey, it's time for solar. Get started today at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com, sunlux.com. CSLB 1008374. <laughs> Matter of fact, my first guy's the Beamer. The first time I got my car, for some reason there was a glitch in it. All it would do is talk to me in German and then I'd scream, you know, like you, you're doing this on purpose. Bill handle mornings from 6 to 10 on KMBOX. You voted for all this, and now what, you're, you're going to move to a state where there's far less of these progressive whack jobs? You say, wow, life is better here. None of this bad stuff happens by accident. It happens because the choices we make, John and Ken, are fault. Weekdays, 2 to 6, on KFI. You can't teach people design. Some of us don't get great athletic genes. Some of us don't get great math abilities. There are a lot of people who don't get desire abilities. And they tend to drift towards what kind of job? Government work. John and Ken. Weekdays, 2 to 6, on KFI. 
These documents were obtained by the Wall Street Journal to use the Freedom of Information Act. You would think that some of the other media here in California should have done the same thing. You have to fill out some paperwork, and they didn't bother. No, nope. there's nobody looking out for you in Southern California except us. John and Ken. Nobody. Weekdays, 2 to 6. On KFI. Usually I have an answer. I always have an answer. Because I know everything. Because I should be king of the world. Phil Handel. Can you imagine? Mornings from 6 to 10. On KFI. KFI AM 640. We're not just in smart speakers. We're in a couple of smart ears as well. KFI and KOSP HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. It's time for your morning wake up call. Here's Layla Muhammad. Friday, October 8th. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Layla Muhammad in for Jennifer Jones Lee. It's KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. We have an action packed show for you this morning. LA County Vax requirement. People in LA County have to show proof of a COVID 19 vaccination to have a good time inside. Plus, extra security at a high school football game in Palm Desert because of a stabbing at a game last week. And coming up shortly, the oil spill investigation, the latest on the spill off the coast of Orange County. We'll check in with OCDA Todd Spitzer. Plus, at 505, 18 former NBA players have been indicted in a widespread scheme to defraud the NBA health plan. Did you hear about that story? Coming up, Aaron Katursky breaks down the charges and what tipped off investigators. But first... Let's get right to the stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. An oil spill in Orange County will be keeping beach lovers at bay for a while. U.S. Coast Guard Captain Rebecca Orr says she can't give a specific time yet on when beaches that are closed will reopen. We continue to see, as we do these daily continuous assessments, uh, oil on the beaches in the form of tar, tar balls and patties, so anything from one inches to a few inches. 800 crew members are still working to clean beaches in the area. Many beaches in Orange County are allowing people to walk on the sand, but keep a distance from the water. In Huntington Beach, Blake Trolley, KFI News. And let's talk about that spill of the Coast Guard investigating as many as 144,000 gallons of oil uh, spilled five miles off the Orange County coast. D.A. Todd Spitzer joining us on the phone. Hey, Todd. Good morning, Layla. How is the outstanding employee of KFI doing? Oh, thank you. You're very sweet. I'm here. I'm, I'm filling in for Jen so she can enjoy some much-deserved time off. Uh, so hey, listen, I want you to be the outstanding employee of the entire year, so oh. I'm lobbying for you for that. I just want you to know that. Well, thank you. Call the boss there so <laughs> and then advocate for some extra coins. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's get serious here and talk about this. Sure. So, uh, what's the latest? Because I know the ship that was in, investigated in connection with the oil spill uh, was cleared of wrongdoing. So, what's the latest on this? Yeah, so, Leo, think about this, right? I mean, people in your profession, the journalists, the journalists, they're asking all the right questions, but they're not getting those answers. And so, you know, I read all the newspapers this morning, and the LA Times yesterday had the front page story that this German carrier that was already up in Oakland but it had, uh, you know, uh, given all of its cargo in L.A. earlier this week uh, was potentially the culprit or identified by GPS of being in the area and, and probably laying down its anchor and causing the damage to the pipeline. They had to retract that story later in the day, and today the story is, it's, uh, you know, it, 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 it's clearing that ship. The fact of the matter is, look, the key thing now is cleaning up the oil, getting, you know, taking care of the, all the wildlife, making sure that the economic impact is reduced as much as possible. Uh, obviously, everybody wants to know the cause, and then more importantly, people want to know who's going to be held accountable and who's going to pay, right? All these lawsuits got filed yesterday. So I'm part of the investigative team, the U.S. Attorney. California Attorney General, District Attorney, we are now looking as, a, as basically a unified front to, do, to look at and investigate all those remaining issues. But what's happening is in the zeal to report the cause and the uh, responsibility, there's a danger that there's going to be misreporting. And that's not good for anybody because it could affect the lawsuits 
whether criminal or civil down the road. Yeah, and we definitely want to make sure we're always getting it right here at KFI. So uh, thank you for saying that. Uh, but talking about these lawsuits, without going into too much detail, um, you know, the lawsuits have already been filed, uh, the first lawsuits. Do you think, well, I guess you can't really speculate on, on whether or not people will be successful in their, in their lawsuits, but uh, how long could something like this last when people try to sue uh, in a situation like an oil spill? Well, I mean, if you go on for years, because this is the deal, right? It's all going to be about causation. You know, what, you know, they're already talking about removing the pipe. There's going to be a forensic analysis of it. There's going to be a determination. Was it, was it a, a, an anchor strike? Was it already weakened internally? Was it already breaking down? You know, and then they'll start apportioning, you know, uh, financial responsibility based upon, you know, a formula. Basically, you know, the pie. Who has this percentage of responsibility? That's on the civil side. The, the, the good news, and I put that in air quotes, the good news is that, you know, irrespective of who has the deep pockets, whether it's the oil company, uh, the, the shipping company, or whatever, there is a trust fund that is funded by the oil companies over years of time to pay for economic damages sustained as a result of these kinds of incidents. So I do believe that individuals will be compensated at the end of the day, when you take a lot of these businesses in Huntington Beach, uh, surf school, uh, retail establishments that rely on that industry, and people going for tourism using the beach, they're going to be devastated, especially after suffering 18 months of COVID. But on the criminal side, what we have to look at is, was somebody reckless or intentional? And so, for example, it's already in the public, so I can talk about it, at, you know, the pipeline company said they didn't know about uh, the oil leak until 8 o'clock in the morning. And that is patently untrue. The Department of Transportation has already released through its spill division that the alarm went off to the pipeline operator at 2.30 in the morning. So those are the kinds of discrepancies. You know, is that intentional? Yeah. Is it negligent? Those are the kinds of issues we will obviously be examining thoroughly. All right. Todd Spitzer, DA of Orange County, thank you so much for, for you know, calling. We, we literally just got this on last minute, so I'm so grateful that uh, you called on oh, this. Wait, 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 we appreciate you. You so got much. it. All right, have a good Anytime. day. Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at your drive from the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center. We make it easy. Nick has a crash on the 55 in Orange. Hey, Nick. Hey, good morning, Layla. It's going to be a mess with the drive first thing this morning. I reckon we'll be in favor on the 55 South by Catella. Looks like it's the two right lanes that are taking away, and that's going to cause you heavy delays first thing as you come away from Lincoln or No Ranch. Heading south on the 55, heading towards Catella. Got an update on this or anything else going you downtown to 50 on the cell phone keyword is KFI traffic. Southbound south of 405. Also still going for you out of Huntington Beach through the Fountain Valley area. Seeing some heavy delays for you from Beach Boulevard as you make way toward Brookhurst. Looks like it's likely due to count trends to drop in a shop in the area. But if you're encountering otherwise, you know what to do. Again, town 250 on your cell phone keyword KFI traffic. Northbound side of the 215 through Marina Valley. Still going for you from Alessandro for the merge of the 60. Looks like right around Box Springs, you got a crash that's being cleared from lanes. KFI in the I help you get there faster. I'm Nick Pauliokini. All right, thank you, Nick. Let's get back to some of the stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. People in L.A. County now have to show proof of a COVID-19 vaccination to have a good time inside. Want to hit a bar, lounge, nightclub, brewery, winery, or distillery? Bring your CDC card or a digital passport. And if you're over 18, also bring your ID. And there isn't really any point in getting angry with the staff. These establishments are doing their very best to add layers of protection for their workers and customers as required by the public health But November 4th, you'll have to show proof that you're fully vaccinated. Be Gregory King of Finance. LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva says he's not going to enforce the county's COVID-19 vaccine requirement in his department. This issue has become so politicized. Their entire groups of employees are willing to be fired and laid off rather than get vaccinated. Villanueva says he doesn't want to lose up to 10% of his workforce because of the mandate when he's already dealing with staff shortages. Light rain has been falling over parts of SoCal since the early hours. The National Weather Service meteorologist Kristen Stewart says it's unusual to have any measurable rain in October. Usually, you know, we're starting to look at our thin and wind pattern, the hot and dry. And then more with November, December, January. Uh -huh. you know, kind of time frame, 
Stewart says no more than a quarter inch of rain is expected to fall in most places. She says the wet weather is expected to move out by this afternoon. The Navy says one of its nuclear-powered attack submarines collided with something while traveling through international waters. In the Pacific Ocean, the military says two sailors were treated for moderate injuries from Saturday's collision, and other sailors have cuts, bumps, and bruises. The USS Connecticut is said to be safe and stable and making its way to port at U.S. Naval Base Guam for damage assessment. Charles County Sheriff's investigators are looking for a man. They say shot and killed his brother. Extended as he killed another brother. He's a male Hispanic, 68 years of age. Uh, he actually is a resident of Florida. He was out here visiting his mother. Homicide Bureau Lieutenant Brandon Dean says after the shooting Wednesday night, the man went to another brother's home and shot into an empty car. Dean says the man was last seen on a red and white Ducati motorcycle with a California plate that ends with T1111. The governor of Texas has sent a letter to President Biden appealing FEMA's denial of an emergency disaster declaration for the state over the border crisis. Governor Greg Abbott says the federal government's failure to enforce immigration laws has led to substantial burdens on local and state resources. President Joe Biden has caused a humanitarian crisis and chaos on our border. Abbott and 10 other Republican governors were in Mission, Texas, to call on Biden to take action, including reinstating the weight in Mexico policy and building the wall. At least four people have been killed because of flooding in Alabama. ABC's Elvin Lopez says that 13 inches of rain fell in northern and central parts of the state Wednesday night and into yesterday. In the Birmingham area, a flood flood emergency trapping families inside their homes. The National Weather Service calling it a particularly dangerous Oh, these are my eyes. Yeah. were trapped and swept away when the quickly falling rain caused the water Right now, it is time for us to say good morning to ABC's Aaron Katursky. Uh, we are talking about... Uh, this is pretty insane. Uh, 18 NBA players, former NBA players, yeah, home, charged with defrauding the league's health and welfare benefit plan. Uh, what is happening?